Hello everyone, what did Jamaica here? Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Saturday evening, March 18th, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know whether there's been like in your ear recently. Feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of those in your specific era. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at the significant feature map across the Atlantic for this evening. We can see that we have a cold front right there across portions of the eastern United States, stretching all the way down into portions of Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. We can see that we have another cold front right there, stretching all the way from the northern section of North Atlantic all the way down to the north of the main development region. And it has also induced a trough across portions of the eastern to central Caribbean Sea. And to the north of the eastern Caribbean, we can see a high pressure ridge right there, sending some amount of easterly trade winds across portions of the main development region into the Caribbean. If we take a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see the clouds right there across portions of the southern and eastern Caribbean associated with that cold front, bringing some amount of overcast skies and showers to those areas. We can also see the clouds associated with that other cold front stretching all the way from northern section of North Atlantic all the way down and we can see the clouds associated with that trough that is as it has induced across portions of the Eastern Caribbean, bringing some amount of overcast skies and showers to those areas as well. And if you actually take a look closer, we can see those clouds moving in the easterly trade winds, all courtesy of that high pressure ridge right there to the north of the Eastern Caribbean, sending all of those clouds streaming all the way into portions of Jamaica with some amount of rainfall even as we speak right now. And that should continue into Sunday as well. We'll be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean's weather later on. Let's focus our attention on the prediction that was made for today's weather yesterday. According to yesterday's video, we stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across sections of some southern and eastern parishes in Jamaica during the night time last night into the morning hours. And we also stated that we would have received some rainfall across sections of northern Jamaica during the afternoon. And what ended up happening? A post was made on our Twitter page at 10.30pm last night, Friday night, highlighting some amount of rainfall on the Doppler radar images coming to sections of sections of southern and eastern Jamaica right there. So sections of Clarendon, St. Catherine, maybe Kingston, St. Andrew, Portland. St. Thomas got in some of that rainfall last night. And then another post was made at 2.01 p.m. Highlighting some clouds coming in from the southeast to affect sections of St. Thomas. St. Mary was getting some amount of rainfall in the afternoon as well. Trelawney, St. James and Hanover as well. Another post was made at 4.51 p.m. Highlighting something similar. More clouds bringing some rainfall intersection of St. Catherine, Kingston and St. Andrew, St. Thomas, Portland, St. James and Hanover as well. We even had our followers commenting and confirming the rainfall that was received in those very spots. Cree stating, just got some drizzle but all clear now. Bay Cookies and Cream stating, rain in the three miles area, I'm now back in Portmore and no rain. Bevy Beauty stating, light rain in Hellshire in Portmore. Even on our Instagram page, we had commenters confirming the rainfall. Tommy Lee Spartan, Sparta fan stating, Water house raining. Another person, First Lady Kefecha stating it's raining in Portmore. Sun for Real stating intermittent rain in Clarendon. And we also had Thikiana stating, Kingston, it was raining like an hour ago, but it stopped its cold in Kingston. Moving on, we had Simone stating, Parts of Manchester leading to Spaldings had rain today. And we also had another um, commenter at this time, about 4.56pm, stating every now and then light rain in Edgewater, Port Moore. Moving on, Steph Brissett stating Mobile wet. Or Shane Martin stating, raining in St. Thomas. 
and if we actually take a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica before the sun went down, we can see that yes, we indeed had that southeasterly flow of winds and clouds across the island. So all of those clouds associated with that now trough across the eastern Caribbean still streaming into portions of southern and eastern Jamaica. And even before the sun went down, we still saw that we had some amount of clouds and rainfall across portions of some southern and eastern parishes. And this should continue in to tonight. If you actually take a look at the infrared satellite images, we don't see much of the high level clouds and the colors that are associated with that but we do see some amount of sparkling white dots in some spots especially right there across eastern portions of the island or to the east of Jamaica in the late evening hours. If you actually take a look at the Doppler radar images right now we can see that the rainfall in the greens and yellows that represent moderate to heavy rainfall are right there where we just saw that rainfall on the satellite images associated with those clouds. So right there across portion of southern and eastern Jamaica is where the rainfall is at this time. So we should be having more rainfall lingering across portions of southern Jamaica tonight as the night progresses. If we actually take a look at where we actually had rain today, according to the Caribbean and Institute, Caribbean Institute of Meteorology and High Judge website. The accumulated precipitation showed the rainfall across those various spots that we just mentioned. So southern and eastern Jamaica as well as portions of northern Jamaica during the afternoon. So specifically Hanover, St. James, St. Mary, Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester and possibly southern St. Elizabeth got in a small amount of rainfall. If we actually take a look at the temperatures for tonight, we can see that we have 24 degrees Celsius in Kingston, 23 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, and as usual, these temperatures should be getting lower as the night progresses. For tomorrow, we can see that Jamaica is not receiving any above normal or below normal temperatures. We're right there in the average temperature range for tomorrow. This map is showing 18 Z on Sunday. That's actually 1 p.m. on Sunday on both the Euro and the GFS models. And we know that when we have consensus on both models, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. And what are the average temperatures for the month of March? About 87 degrees Fahrenheit. And when we look on the thermometer, that's about the equivalent of, let's say, 30 degrees Celsius. So that's what we will be receiving tomorrow in the low 30s for our temperatures. Taking a look at the dry air map, we can see as seen by the keys at the bottom, the yellows indicate less dry air. And that is what we're receiving right now across portions of Jamaica right there. Even some blues that indicate some moisture and that is associated are all due to the cloud cover that we've been having and all those moisture associated with that rainfall. The driest ear can be seen right there in the reds and whites on the keys and that's located across portions of the Gulf of Mexico as well as that ear right there off the coast of Africa. If we actually take a look at the Saran dust forecast for tomorrow, 2 p.m. on Sunday shows that Jamaica is in the clear. Majority of the dust is right there across portions of the main development region with the darkest browns right there off the coast of Africa as well as across Africa. That's where majority of the dust is at this time. If we actually take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, both the Euro and the GFS are still showing blues surrounding the island and according to the keys, the blues are indicative of at least 1.5 meter wave height or less and that's due to the winds that we'll be receiving tomorrow so we'll be receiving more of an east southeasterly or southeasterly kind of flow tomorrow and the winds will be coming from the considering that they're coming from the east southeast we, we, we might still receive some amount of stray showers across portions of southern and eastern jamaica and we know for a fact now that when we have those blues piling up on the north coast, wherever the blues are piling up, that's where we're going to have the least amount of winds. And wherever we have that blue piling up, that's where we have that air piling up, that's where we have that buildup of clouds that can lead to some amount of afternoon convection. And considering that we only have green surrounding the island, we know that the greens represent anywhere from 10 to 20 knot winds. So it's not going to be that windy tomorrow. Considering that we're going to be having that wind shear coming in more from the southwest or west-southwest across the island on both the Euro and the GFS tomorrow, there might be more of a bias for the rainfall across portions of northern Jamaica, especially during the afternoon hours. 
so especially those residents living on the north coast maybe st anne trelawney st james hanover if you have to wash tomorrow try to get it done early if you actually take a look at the precipitation forecast for tonight actually this map is showing 8 p.m tonight it's only a couple of minutes away before 8 p.m we can see some more blues across portions of southern and eastern jamaica on the euro Mall, which are indicative of rainfall and we see something similar across the g on the gfs model you know that when we have consensus on both models like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher so it makes sense that we're receiving some amount of isolated rainfall across those spots right now just like what we saw on the doppler radar images and the satellite images just now moving ahead to about 12 a.m we see some colors in there across portions of st thomas and portland on the euro model even sections of maypen so the rainfall might even get even more robust across those spots not so robust on the gfs but we do have consensus that we still have some blues that represent rainfall across those spots skipping ahead to about 4 a.m we know that 5 a.m eastern standard time stands for 4 a.m jamaica time we can see that by that time we still have some amount of rainfall across eastern and central jamaica on the Euromal. the gfs is showing more rainfall across portions of eastern and maybe some southern coastal areas right there so that's where we see the consensus more than likely by any time period after that in the late morning the rains will be cooled down at that time which will make way for sunshine which is why our next map that we're showing is about 3 p.m eastern standard time that's actually 2 p.m and what do we see those very areas that we mentioned where that air will be piling up it's actually gonna rain across portion of northern jamaica during the afternoon that's where we see all the darkest blues and the colors we see more whites across the southern coastal areas so all of those clouds and the air piling up coming in from the southeast or east southeast will be piling up across portion of northern jamaica during the afternoon to bring some afternoon conviction to those spots that time this map is showing 2 p.m on sunday on both the euro and the gfs and we know that when we have consensus like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher taking a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast we know that the euro model is usually more robust than the gfs either way both maps are showing the rainfall that we'll be receiving from now up until 3z on monday that's actually all the rainfall that we'll be receiving for the next 24 hours from now up until 10 pm on sunday we can see up to an inch of rainfall across portions of eastern jamaica less than an inch but we can across the rest of the island but we can see rainfall especially across portions of northern jamaica so that's where we have the consensus we can even see some purples up in there up into three inches on the euro the chances of that actually happening are slim considering that gfs disagrees we usually like the consensus that that's where we would have the certainty of the rainfall either way we see the reds across portion of eastern jamaica st thomas and portland on both maps i know that when we have consensus like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher so we're actually grateful that we've been receiving all of this rainfall in the month of march thus far especially considering that it's still winter winter is usually one of the driest times in jamaica so we usually receive up to 87.15 of an inch of, um, of millimeters of rainfall and we've been receiving some amount of rainfall even surpassing that across portion of the island considering that march is one of the driest months of the year so we are indeed grateful for that all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's talk about the rest of the caribbean so as stated we can see a lot of clouds coming into portion of the gulf of mexico associated with that cold front portion of mexico belize honduras guatemala getting in on some amount of rainfall right there we can see a lot of clouds associated with that trough across portion of the eastern caribbean right there just like what we predicted in yesterday's video that portion of guadeloupe southward would start receiving most of the rainfall next so guadeloupe dominica martinique saint lucia getting in on some of that rainfall as well even portion of barbados and those areas to the west of barbados so saint lucia saint vincent did receive some amount of rainfall then 
if we actually take a look at the Doppler radar images before the sun went down over that spot right there we can see right there that we had the greens associated with that rainfall across portions of Guadeloupe and Dominica even some darker greens and yellows um, coming into play right there that's indicative of at least moderate to even heavy rainfall across those spots this Doppler radar image is showing from at least 2 p.m. today and we still have some rainfall across those spots even up to recording hour so you know we might even have some isolated flash flooding across portions of Guadeloupe or Dominica right there moving along to the Barbados radar we can see also on the Barbados radar that we have that rainfall to the north of the island affecting portions of St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica right there even some more rainfall to the east of those islands coming in moving to the west to affect those areas tonight as well moving to the wider view of Doppler radar images we don't see much going on across portions of French Guyana or Suriname at this time maybe a passing shower or two to the north of the ABC islands we can see some amount of rainfall across portions of Colombia, but majority of the rainfall right now is right there across portions of Mexico, Honduras, portions of the northwestern coast of Cuba right there associated with the cold front. If we take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, both maps are, so are showing 18Z on Sunday. That's actually 1 p.m. on Sunday. We can see that we are below normal temperatures across portions of the eastern tip of Dominican Republic all the way eastwards of Puerto Rico portion of the eastern Caribbean in general you can see the above normal temperatures are right there across southern Florida portion of the Bahamas portion of Cuba portion of the Yucatan Peninsula right there as well as portions of the Cayman Islands the below average temperatures are right there behind that cold front across portion of the United States and Mexico right there so that's the forecast for temperatures let's look at the sarin dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Sunday majority of the Eastern Caribbean will be in the clear majority of the Caribbean will be in the clear for from the sarin dust majority of the dust associated with the Sahara Desert will be to the east of the Caribbean as well as affecting portions of Suriname and as well as French Guiana we can see that the darkest browns indicate the most intense dust and that's located right there of the coast of Africa as well as on the land era of Africa right there if we actually take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow both maps from the Euro and the GFS are showing 12 p.m. on Sunday we can see that the purples and the reds that indicate at least two meter wave heights or more are right there across portion of the Eastern Caribbean islands as well as the Northeastern Caribbean Islands. not to mention right there across portion of the Gulf of Mexico and that's due to the strong winds that will be received by that cold front as well as that trough so the trough is bringing some amount of yellows that represent some strong winds and with the strong winds come the high waves right there across portion of the eastern caribbean not to mention all the strong winds indicated by all of those yellows and even oranges across portion of the gulf of mexico sending all of those uh, strong northerly winds or north northeasterly winds into portion of mexico which makes sense that we have so many reds that indicate some high wave heights across those spots if we actually take a look at the rainfall for tomorrow both the Euro and the GFS models are showing the accumulated precipitation from now up until 10 p.m. on Sunday so it's not all the rainfall at once it's actually over the next 24 hours and the very same spots will be receiving rainfall to so Guadeloupe sections of Dominica right there sections of martinique might get in on some of that rainfall as well maybe even some rainfall across portions of antigua barbuda we can see the rainfall that we already mentioned across jamaica still some rainfall to be received across portions of the bahamas cuba up to an inch of rainfall we know we might have some isolated flash flooding we can see some rainfall across costa rica panama as well as portions of colombia colombia will be getting up to an inch of rainfall as well if we actually take a look at the western portion of the basin where we have that other cold front we can even see some purples in there getting up to even up to three inches of rainfall across the waters of the gulf of mexico as well as portions of mexico right there we can see some rainfall across portions of guatemala belize honduras to be received 
from now up until 10 p.m. on Sunday. And we know that when we have consensus like this on both the year and the GFS model, up to an inch showing all of these reds like what's seen on the keys, you know, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. So if there's some amount of isolated flash flooding taking place, please do take necessary precautions so that you're not that drastically affected. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.